Okay, welcome back, my friends, to another episode of Cooking with Mr. Dan. Now, this Fourth uh, of July is coming up, and I know people are having barbecues and stuff like that. So uh, I got this recipe of red sauce with onions. Uh, we used to have, eat. Uh, I ate that a lot when I was a kid because we had uh, savored hot dogs, uh, hot dog vendors on the street corner in, in New York, and that's it. A must, that's what you had. You had red sauce with onions. It's delicious. But anyway, uh, it's easy to make. Uh, it tastes really, 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 really good. And you can probably use it on hamburgers, hot dogs, whatever you got. Sausages, you got some bratwurst. It's good stuff. So anyway, it takes a few minutes. I already got some of the ingredients cut up, so let's get to it. Let's turn my little pot on here and get it to a medium heat. Okay, I sprayed this pot here with some cooking spray. It ran down the sides. I'm trying. I do that to it helps it clean it clean up as easy, right? So here we got the star to show. Uh, if you have two onions, if they're small, this is one large uh, sweet onion I'm using. I diced up two cloves of garlic. It's a little more than a teaspoon in there. This here is. Uh, Two, two tablespoons of butter. That's two squeezes of the ketchup bottle. This is two tablespoons of uh, barbecue sauce. A little bit of water. Some white pepper. You can use black pepper if you like. And uh, some oregano. Okay. So without further ado, let's hit it. Okay, I just tested my pot to see if it was hot enough. I threw a piece of onion in there and you see it's bubbling. So... We're just going to put these babies in there. Now these are all, if you look at them, I cut them in half moons or whatever you want to call them. The reason I did that, I like it like that. I like them, and it reminds me of uh, when they served them on the hot dogs in the city. <laughs> that thing was the bomb back in the day. But this is a really easy, quick sauce. Everybody's going to love it. Uh, you guys really need to give this a whirl for the, the hot dogs for this weekend. I'm throwing my butter in there now, get it out of the way. Once the uh, onion cooks down a bit, then we'll uh, throw the garlic in there. And we just want, when we cook these, we just want to cook them till they're uh, nice and soft. You know what I mean? You'll, you'll see as we go along. This is really nice. It's an easy recipe, like I said. And, uh, Heck, Penny's not even going to be here for the 4th of July, so I don't know if anybody's coming to the house. I don't know. I think by, I told you that a day when I was giving you the recipe for the, I think it was the tartar sauce or the shrimp burgers, whatever. Uh, I got a friend of ours, uh, one of his grandmother, so it'd be a, her, the grandson, but then I, I met the whole family years ago, and uh, we, we were keeping in touch for a while, but we don't keep in touch that often. Anyway, he uh, was wanting to know if he can come down for this week, which he did. I'm glad to have him. We've been having fun. He's been having a lot of fun. I guess him and his girlfriend, they've been going out and having fun. So uh, but this will be another little treat for everybody. And, uh, he, him and I are going to make a video for you guys. I think he wants to make a pizza. So... It's all his idea, so we're gonna we're gonna go with it. We'll call it a Georgia pizza, because <laughs> that's where they're from. Uh, cutest little girl, little baby's got there too. I will right, we'll be back in a flash. Okay, so my onions are getting soft, but uh, uh, they're not quite exactly where we want them yet. But they'll get there because we're gonna start putting the rest of the stuff in here. I'm gonna throw some garlic in. So this has only been like four minutes, by the way. I'm not, not, uh, you know, I gotta find a better way to do the garlic. Maybe I'll just get a, a garlic press. I don't know. I like chopping up the garlic. As long as I don't chop up my fingers, I'll, I'll be alright, huh? Okay, so we'll, we'll give this a mix. And once you get the aroma of the garlic in there, That doesn't take but like a, maybe a minute. This chunky onion right here, I'm gonna get rid of this if I can get a hold of it. 
It's kind of big, but I, don't, I think he's a, what's known as a, a retread. We'll send him back to the factory, huh? <laughs> All right. Okay, so now our onions, I can smell the garlic is, is cooking up. So now what I'm going to do is add into the add the ketchup, and this is two squeezes of the ketchup bottle. <laughs> All right, I don't. Well, that's my stomach growling. Give that a little stir, huh? And you'll see how you know you'll see how the you know the color the color's going to change, of course, because your white onions and now you got the ketchup in there. Now for the barbecue sauce. And you know, you could probably, I, I've seen this before. I don't know if they have it around where you guys are at, but they had it here for a while. You can buy this, the red onion sauce. I already made a, a Sabre Hot Dogs does it. But I look at it this way. This cost me a few pennies to make this. I ain't paying nobody, you know, two or three or four dollars a bottle. And already the smell of this it just brings back memories for me right here. All right, so we got some water in there. Oh, yeah. Now, this is the real deal. I got news here. I can... The smell right now, well, you guys, if you've ever had them, this, you, once you start cooking them, <laughs> you'll know this has a distinct, uh, distinct flavor, uh, aroma. Right, we're going to give a couple shakes of oregano. Let's go with that. Then, I'm using white pepper. I think it's got a little better of a kick than the, uh, then the black pepper, and again, just a couple shakes. That's it. That's all you're gonna need. You'll get a little kick out of that pepper. Now you can use you can use regular black pepper if you like. Uh, let me turn this down a little bit. And there you have it. Pretty much, just a little softer. But yep. But like I said, this is a nice uh, condiment to your hot dogs or your, you know, we didn't have any, we had them always on hot dogs, but uh, this is it right here. Let me give you guys a bird's eye view. And there you have it. So we're going to, I'm going to get a fork here and just grab a taste of one right quick. She's going to get cameras off, but she don't want to. <laughs> okay. Mm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm-hmm. That is the flavor. Mm. Mm hmm. So anyway. Now you can also, if you like, you can add in uh, more. If you wanted a little more ketchup eat. Uh, you can add that. You can add uh, more barbecue sauce if you like. It's up to you. You're the creator of your own sauce. So this is just a basic to get you in the door. And I'm telling you, it's easy to make. You guys ought to give it a try for the 4th of July. Hey, that's almost poetry. <laughs> okay, so this is Mr. Dan saying, give us a thumbs up for the video. Share it with your friends, family. Uh, subscribe if you haven't yet. I can use the help. Trust me. I'd be very much grateful. <laughs> uh, um, when you, when you, when you, when you do subscribe, you'll get the arrow, I mean, the notification bell will pop up, you hit that, you'll get notified each time we have a video, then, uh, there's a little arrow down box below the video, you hit that, a drop down box will come down, and it'll give you a link to our Cooking with Mr. Dan Facebook page, it'll give you a link to my daughter's artwork page, and it'll give you the complete recipe, the ingredients, and how we did this wonderful condiment here today. 
So, you all have a happy 4th of July. Stay safe. Stay hungry. And when you are hungry, come back, my friends, and we'll give you another delicious dish just like this. This is Mr. Dan saying we're out for now. Have a nice 4th of July.